Welcome back everyone, the sulfuric acid ban in Europe is approaching and therefore we are going to prepare 15% solutions of sulfuric acid in different mediums. For solution containing a little less than 15% sulfuric acid in ethanol, 4.24 liters of 96% ethanol are mixed with 340 milliliters of 96% sulfuric acid. The ethanol was transferred to a measuring cup using a silicon tube as a siphon. When dealing with chemicals, you should not suck the chemical over into the siphon with your mouth. After the ethanol has been added, less than 340 milliliters of 96% sulfuric acid were added. This has to be done really slowly because the ethanol could start boiling, spilling acid everywhere which would be a disaster. Afterwards, a 15% solution of sulfuric acid in water was prepared. To do this, less than 900 milliliters of 69% sulfuric acid are mixed with 9.2 liters of distilled water. The sulfuric acid was again added slowly in the end. I'm actually going to slap some better labels onto these canisters really soon. In the end I noticed that I still had 15 liters of sulfuric acid with 49%. All of that had to be diluted too, so I bought some distilled water and three 20 liter canisters. Because we are dealing with huge amount of acids and I don't have a full face shield, I'm going to wear the gas mask. Safety goggles simply wouldn't be safe enough and I don't want any acid landing in my face. Once the acid has been prepared, it was transferred to this big 20 liter canister. We are doing this enormous amount of work simply to keep our acid legal and to still be able to use sulfuric acid in the future. While diluting acid, always remember to add the acid to the water and not the other way around. With dilute sulfuric acid, adding water to acids wouldn't be a big problem, but it's a simple rule of chemistry you should simply follow. There you go, this was the last bit of acid. After all was added, the canister was screwed shut. In the end we were left with 57 liters of sulfuric acid with a concentration of below 15%. To be even more specific, I can tell you that the sulfuric acid should have a concentration of about 14.3% by weight. And this is what we were left with in the end. A lot of empty canisters, some leftover distilled water and a lot of sulfuric acid, dilute sulfuric acid. There's one thing left to do, which was to label the canisters appropriately. And there you go, a lot of sulfuric acid diluted down to below 15% in many different mediums. Here we have sulfuric acid in ethylene glycol or antifreeze, sulfuric acid in water, sulfuric acid in ethanol, sulfuric acid in methanol and sulfuric acid in isopropanol. Besides that we also have sulfuric acid in butyric acid and in glacial acetic acid. The glacial acetic acid containing the sulfuric acid actually still froze. The acetic acid froze because it still contains little to no water. Without water, it forms hydrogen bonds, which lead to this high freezing point. 